follow for chair. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, what's the issue with your corruption? It's uh, getting destroyed by everyone. I need more of it is the problem. Lord of the Black Court. How's this guy kind of bringing back chair? Chair, I'll be back later. Don't worry. Zutma! No. Armies of Lothar and Seaguard, my favorite. Let's get that. How long until Marathi's back? Next turn. Murderous Lord. I mean, on the upshot, like I said, I did get the bloody trade, which is pretty damn good to get. If I can keep getting that, just gotta keep getting shit on, and I'll be fine. Yeah, pretty damn good for Marathi as well, just in general. Increased HP. All right. Um. Someday I'll be able to trade with these. How? Why are there so many people at war with what? me? So many people at war with me. Even the guys that I have like a massive detriment to my uh, diplomacy with are not at war a with me right now. Arrival. My refused. Whatever. We tried. Hashtag. We tried. All right. Oh yeah, I guess the other chair is pushed back far enough, you can see that one too. Technically it's a triple chair stream, because there's another chair directly behind this chair. So you've got that chair over there, and there's another chair, then there's this chair, and then there's another chair, like, right back there. <laughs> Which you may or may not be able to see. It might be too low on the camera. <laughs> so many elves on my land. I need some uh, Bray Herds to come through here and corrupt everything real quick. Bray Herds? Bray Herds blocks? <laughs> Too many chairs. All the chairs. I mean, this chair is always here. I just usually have it pushed in so you can't see it because it's currently blocking some of the posters. Of course, I'm going to do this, and everybody's going to be like, Why do you move the chair? Well, I mean, it's still... I guess it's not... It's like always in frame, I guess. It's just... Not quite as noticeable when it's pushed in like that. I need all the corruption. I really do. Oh, goodness. Hey, he's loyal again. Marathi's ready for duty. Yes. All right, sorry, bud. A terror to their enemies. I am Marathi. Welcome back, Marathi. Slide on down here, I guess. One yield or all perish. I don't know about that, Marathi, but you know, hey. Feeling up a chair, no explanations needed. Damn it. Now we'll get another rebellion. We're gaining levels off of this and items. Fortunately, I lost two items in the last bit of nonsense. Any better than a war banner? No, not really. Plus 10 diplomatic relations with all factions. Woohoo! I see you've got to invade with one. Uh, yeah, we're working on it. Uh, we'll just say it's on the list, okay? If everything had gone to plan, we would probably own like a good. 
quarter of Uthalan by now. But things have not gone to plan. Everything has gone exactly the opposite of to plan. <laughs> Plus 10 to all diplomatic relations, be at war with everyone, seems to even out, right? It's working. It's working fantastically well. <sighs> like, all of the risky plays that I've made to try to get back at the game have not functioned. Every risk I'm taking is just, like, getting me shit on. On top of things not going well to begin with. Which is a little bit of my fault and a little bit of RNG. And some stuff that definitely, due to hindsight, like, if I knew what was going to happen before it happened, I would definitely not have done it. <laughs> Phoenix King. Well, we'll see about that. How long until I can level the city up again? Ah, uh, we're getting there. I am the first sorceress. All right. Phoenix Queen. Nuke these guys real quick. I think I just do this. Marathi, command yeah, okay. you. Fight. I say, I don't really feel like I have to fight this fight out. I think we're good. 100 slaves, though. That's nice. Woolrick. Cheap, off-brand Woolrick. I am Morathi. Who are you? Ah, uh, I'm, uh, I'm Woolrick. Let all tremble. The crap? The power is mine. Alright. At least she's getting levels. Yeah, exactly. At least there's that. Didn't get an item off them, either. It's a crappy rebellion. The hag sorceress ascends. They need to rebel again. Try again. I mean, give it two turns. Be right back at it. Oh, goodness gracious. 13 more turns before we can do Right of Cain again. Absurd. Not a good. Frick. Just so many people. Adequate. Yes. Adequate. Bound by contract. Yeah, there we go. She's getting incredibly strong after a while. Oh, yeah. We're getting there. We're working our way up. It's taking a bit. They might be spared from stunty death, I approve of Chaos Dwarves. They're far enough departed from regular dwarves. Infernal Guard with fire glaives. Demonic engines. The uh, Centaur Bull Cav or whatever the crap they're called. I forget exactly what they're. The half dwarf, half, uh, half giant horse. Freaking Chaos Dwarves should be pretty dope. Yep. Chaos Dwarves did do indeed get Cav. Or have, yeah. <laughs> At least they should. I mean, I guess it's up to CA whether they put them in or not, but they're a fairly, uh, fairly big staple, so... I'd be surprised if they didn't get put in the game. That's alright, I guess. Alright, 15 more turns we can level up Quintex. Absurd. 
the hell did that other army go? Alright. Bull centaurs and hobgoblin wolves. I'd be down with that. The people grow restless. Well, tell the people to knock it off. I have command. We get one more dark shard, or we get one more dread spear. Let's do another dark shard. More deeps. We got the deeps. You always get recruiter after you've hired everyone because recruiting units gives you recruiters. So. <laughs> it's like, yay! I got the buff that I no longer need because I have all the units I was going to build. Knowing me so far this campaign, I'll need to recruit another army at some point. <sighs> All right. What can I do for you, blighted of Nagash? <laughs> so, I'm at war with like four factions right now, and Katep, the guy that I have a negative forty diplomacy with. Because of one of my, like, in-game traits, I just get negative 40 with them, wants a non-aggression pact. Out of all of the factions in the entire map who would attack me, he makes the most sense. Out of every single faction, non-aggression pact. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Sure. I mean, why not? Decline at war everywhere. We're not the Empire. I'll make some skeleton friends. For now. Might as well just turn it into a challenge campaign. <laughs> I swear that was all on purpose. Every bit of it. Completely intentional. Ugh. So many people. There's like 16 freaking Bretonian factions these days, too. And there's a whole bunch of spawned, like, rogue armies uh, at the start of the game already. I think there's like four rogue armies. Craziness. At least they're not all on my face, surprisingly. Chartered piracy. 20% sacking settlements. That's pretty good, honestly. Um. I think I kind of need that. Wow, we got like 17 grand. Holy banana. Holy bananas. Cease your provocations. Oh, actually, well, she's in there as a plus five to... The Sunderer. I watch I see. from the shadows. All right, this guy should have that worn off by now. Yep. Unlikely. What even is going on? See a walk down here and see what the heck's happening. He's got an army here. There's nobody defending Exodus right now. How many settlements does he have? Three. Okay. He hasn't gotten any bigger. Oh, we're looking good. Yep. I really need, um... I really need this city to level up, honestly, so I can build a wall here, so I can actually just defend Quintex with a garrison, as opposed to having to run back all the time. Also, I suppose if I get enough cash, I can just build a second army here. How long until I can get that guy back that I just fired? 
two turns. Okay. Get Revaron back in the fight. Now that Marathi's army has a negative 30% uh, upkeep. Try to keep us going a little bit at least. <laughs> this is fine, right? Uh, yeah, this is fine. Do, 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 do. At least those guys are heading back down south again, so that's good. At least the Skeggy didn't come over here and start kicking my ass. That's also good. That's true. If I got, if I was able to get a Black Ark, I could actually solve a lot of these problems. Of course, then you probably just would sail an army out and sink it. But you know, hey. Yeah, if I could get one, that'd be awesome, though. To be sure. Well, potentially awesome before it gets freaking deep sixed in like four seconds by the super aggro computer armies. Who are just in love with sinking black arcs for some reason. It's like five rebel, or, uh, not rebel factions, rogue factions. Alright, so Forge to Kill gives Dread Spheres, Dark Shards, Bleak Swords, and Black Arc Corsairs 10%. Then we can also get reworked crossbows, which would give us that 15% Dark Shards range, which we so desperately need. Uh, what else we got? That's not bad. That's pretty good too, obviously. So let's get forged to kill. Mother of the Go up here, nuke this guy out again. I think not. The dark rest. Should get a level off that at least. Yep. Cool. I am the first sorcerer. Cool, cool. Cain wills it. Let's do that. Uh, Beastman, Norse control. I mean, this could help us out with the Skaggy, I suppose. And the corruption. Yeah, fuck it. What does that do for us with the Skaggy? That yeah, puts us in the green, at least. Speak. Always ready for a headbutting. There we go. Awesome. There, solve that problem, at least. It always bothered me that tech for different tiers is called upgrade one, upgrade two, and so on. Yeah, that does feel a little bit like, um, it does feel a little bit like a placeholder for an actual, like, cool name. Like, that's what they had it, like, the beta version or whatever, and they're like, no, we'll replace it with a better name later, and they just never did. My turns are shorter than the frickin' turn tracker at this point. Man, it's gonna be weird to see what uh, Warhammer 3 Diplomacy will be after seeing how 3K had theirs. If they could combine the overmap things from 3K into Warhammer, I don't know why, like, that. at that point you're kind of like, well, why do I, why would I play a game other than Warhammer? <laughs> <laughs> I hope they include trading items, that was a nice feature. Yeah, that'd be cool too. Like, right now, 3K has the benefit of having better, excuse me, having better campaign mechanics than, uh, than Warhammer. But, the battles are a lot less interesting. Trading territories with allies, that too. 
whereas Warhammer has much more interesting battles, but the campaign mechanics are a lot more like, eh. There's a region training mod. That's true, there is. Oh, it doesn't work with multiplayer? Mm, that's a little bit annoying. Yeah, Warhammer battles are the best in the series. I wish, though, um, that the resp unit responsiveness was upped. Because, seriously, a lot. Of, sometimes when you tell a unit to do something, it's like you've had to send a carrier pigeon across the frickin' Andes or something to get to them, to tell them that maybe you should back up, archers. There's a cab unit charging you. <laughs> and then every single person has to get standing back in the perfect formation before, like, an archer unit will keep firing. Whereas in both Thrones and uh, Three Kingdoms, you can disengage and re-engage and fire your archers without all of them having to get into the, into the brick before shooting. You know, things like that would be a lot nicer as well for the battles if things just res were more responsive in general. The units felt more like they were more fluidly moving around. Love having the archers turn on a dime? Yeah, right? I have a season done of War Player. Anything that is faster than a godly mess is good with me. I mean, I'm used to it at this point, but it's just... I could see a better... I could see a better universe, essentially, is what I'm saying. This one is capable enough. Stalker. Let's resist. Sure. I'll start getting that stuff, even though I'm probably not gonna put him in an army. With bitter ambition. All right. So we need to. What is this gonna do to my money situation? Is this the question? Seven hundred. Tyrant of Nagarok. Lord of the Black Court. And we need to hire... Oh, excuse me. We need to hire some I admire spear your boys. Get his army by up and running here. Hag Sorceress of Grom. So we have a way to actually move our army out and fight without having to like, constantly come back to the city of Quintex and deal with rebellions over and over and over again. So has anybody played uh, the new Age of Wonders game yet? Anybody in chat? Looks pretty good. Looks like it could be a bash. Like, I like the other Age of Wonders games, so... Um, just looks like more of that. Never played any of them. They're pretty decent. If you're into that sort of like, uh, Heroes of Might and Magic slash Civ kind of situation. See it being played, never played any of them. Looks like it might be fun. I like it a little bit better than, um, than civilization because you actually could, like fight the fights out on a battle map. It's still turn-based fights on hexagons, uh, but you at least get to fight the fights as opposed to just letting die rolls take care of it. Dunno War is fun, at least one and two. We don't talk about three. They made a third one. I know they had a really cool trailer, but I didn't know they actually finished it. I will deliver all plan. Oh, my loyalty. Dreadlord oh, it's four. Alright, well, four is fine. 
tyrant of Nagaroth. All right, get a couple more. Woo, hang on. Money. Such slaughter like that guy, I guess. Balance is, I watch is great. From the shadows. For glory. It's funny how some of those like older games manage to have... Oh, freaking Chaos Knights. Managed to have uh, such decent balance in like, newer games take forever to get it right. Should I fight this out? I might lose less troops if I do. For the yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I fought a b battle in a little while anyways. You're being ironic? Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, there are some old games that are actually balanced. Like, Brood War, pretty damn balanced. I mean, Terran is a little bit over-tuned, over but... Overall, quite solid. Eager for battle. Um, the merciless host. Age of Empires 2, actually, I think is not too bad either, if I remember if I remember correctly. I wasn't into the multiplayer scene for that, like, really hardcore, but... We are ready. For what I did play, it seemed mostly okay. Dark elves. I mean, there were the usual, like, cheeses and stuff like that, but... Some of the older Command & Conquerors weren't too terrible, either. Battle ready. Dark shots. Not perfect, but not awful. Elder were disgustingly strong. You guys, uh, the fire is auto cannon. Uh, cannon wasn't actually shooting. Patched it. It has it nerfed the damage like 85%. Ah, uh, yeah, well, there's that. It's pretty, pretty big oversight. Well, yeah, like the very old ones were pretty much mirrors. Dark shards. It is done. It is done. With a couple of like special it units for each faction, Let obviously. Understood. We are ready at once. Drew Which obviously makes it a lot easier to balance. Like to you know, chess is balanced because both sides are exactly the same. <laughs> Druki. Without question. Fast Eager for battle. Right. Bunch of freaking cab coming around this flank. Just turn out towards Attack. that, I guess. This will be you guys out as well. It's totally white favorite. Druki. Death at once. No mercy. Just can't win. Red spears. As you say. Uh, I know a lot of people that really, really, really Battle like Supreme Commander. Supreme Commander, Commander is not a game that I ever really got into, either. I don't know if that necessarily means that it's balanced, or if just people really enjoyed the flavor of it or not, but... I know there's a lot of people that thought it was pretty great, so... Could mean that this, that's balanced as well as also having good flavor. Gonna slow these trolls down on their charge here. You get jeez. That charge managed to get all the way through like five lines of fucking spearmen to hit my ranged units on the backside. Oh my gosh. Destroy! Dealers in death. Onwards to murder. Dread spears. Bleak swords. Boys. Get up in there. Marathi. Here, take those guys out, please. Dark shots. This freaking cab over here is just chomping my guys. Marathi. Marathi. 
Uh, I played Subcom 1 and enjoyed it. Balance is generally pretty good, but there were some silly things that could be done. SU Master Teleport Strikes with Cyberrun spamming cheap as fuck. Uh, monkey Lords with, with Cyberrun. I'm sure that makes sense to somebody that has played Supreme Commander. That sounds like a bunch of, uh, fun, sounds like a bunch of heresy otherwise. My poor one Spearman unit. I mean, I kind of get the general idea of what is going on, but I don't know what any of those units actually do. I can see the, like, the idea behind what might be happening. The Hag Sorceress. Sort of hand unit, dead. you don't lose if it dies, but it goes nuclear when it dies. Master does ridiculous DPS. So you have to kill it, either you let it murder you outright, or you blow it up and nuke yourself because it just teleported in the middle of your base. Ah, right. I, have I see. Need of yeah, that sounds a little bit... Power sounds a little bit bothersome to deal with. I am the first sorceress. Tyrant of Nagaroth. Okay, that gets a little more cash to work with here as well. Spear boy here. Get bleak sword, I guess. Ride soul effect. Uh, okay. Missile resistance would be good. Be pretty solid. We're also getting fairly close to pit of shades, though, too. Which that would be pretty damn nice. See what we can do here. Basically, the cheapest prototype unit of any faction. They also conveniently did the most DPS and could stealth. They are fragile as shit, though, compared to any other ones. Ah, okay. Gotcha. No. No. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. Eleven more turns. Okay. Dreadlord of Nagaroth. Actually, you know what? We need to move out, so we're just gonna do this. It's gonna put us in the negative, but we have twenty-one grand we can play with, so we get a little bit of time. Skyrim belongs to the Nords. Not Ula Skink. Ula Skinks. Is it part of the great plan? A Nord Ulus Gink? How about a... How about a Dragonborn Ulus Gink? Does that work out? To be a High Elf? <laughs> how high are these Elves? Altmer. Dun Dunmer, Altmer, Ogonians, and Bretons are probably my favorites. I mean, there are some, honestly, there are some factions in the Elder Scrolls that are just kind of crap. Which doesn't help. Like, Imperials are kind of get the shit out of the stick in most... Um, in most Elder Scrolls for, like, their starting bonuses. You basically have to, like, play an, an Imperial because you like the flavor of it, not because technically you really want the, the bonuses they get. Never play shit, Nord, Bosmer, and Red Guards. Red Guards are pretty darn strong. Um, Bosmer are usually sometimes kind of weird. Kijit are decent if you're going bow sneak, which a lot of people do, so...
All right. Rookie Lord. More rebellions. Yay. All right. He wants to get rid of all these guys. Those. Which is going to dive us deep into debt. More but rusty. hopefully killing rebellions will solve that problem. What am I taking attrition damage from? Oh, right of Sotek. God damn it. Okay, it's not that bad though. As the gray. Is it worth it for me to kill a Loremaster? Potentially. Or should I assault the units? Let's take out the Loremaster. This one is capable. Immortality. Remember whether he should build a tower to the moon? Petra Schwarz remembers. The Khajiit are also kind of weird because, like, the the Khajiit we're used to looking at are not only, like, only type of Khajiit. Like, there's a bunch of different kinds. It's just one of their forms. I have no time, so make it quick. What do you want? No, I can't have a peace treaty with you right now because I have to take my freaking settlements back, you bastard. Shit, are the meme rays. I thought somebody else could warn me for a second, then I realized it was Nagarund. They're the kind that most commonly live elsewhere. Yeah. Also, Argonians have world routes, which is pretty fun. Underground taxi service. And when I say they build the Tower of the Moon, I mean the Tower of Shit, not built of construction material materials. It just works. <laughs> Argonians is cool all around. Yeah, they also pray to trees. Ambush is foiled. Evil trees at that, yeah. Sisseth trees. <laughs> Shadow scales. Ah, uh, attrition. My face. Lord of the Black Court. All right, let's see if we can deal with this. Should be able to. Hell Cannon's still gonna be a problem because I have nobody. I have no cab or anything to run out there and kill it. Uh, all right. We fight. I love Kishit because of the meme. Before that, I was other kind of meh. Yeah, Argonians born under the sign of the shadow end up as as tree state employed assassins from birth. Yep. Yeah, the shadow scales. Which technically, in my current campaign that I'm I'm running as a skink, we are a Ar Argonian born born under the sign of the shadow. <laughs> Although it doesn't really work out very well for for role playing a skink to be that crazy assassin person. I wonder if I can hide these trees over here and get that hell can to come to me. We'll find out. They have some crazy lore behind that. Black Marsh was winning the Oblivion Crisis because the trees basically were hive mind controlling the Argonians. Not ever being Argonian made, 0 out of 10. Cold-blooded killers! Bleak swords! Dread spears! Dark shards! Carnage awaits! On to slaughter! 
All right. Everybody, let's try to hide in the trees, shall we? You're with the trees, aren't you? Actually, I might be able to move back up to here. We understand. Or are they just not going to come at us? They might not. Mm. Oh, I don't think they can see any of us is the problem. Dark shards. Following orders. All right, so let's see if I can't get them to spot us here. And we could potentially just run around until the Hellcat's out of ammo as well. That's another option. If they don't come at us. Ow. Now that you're going in involved, have any memory of this because the trees assume direct control. They don't have power of it. Assuming direct control. Yeah, damn, Sithis trees. Oh shit, it's Murph. <laughs> Ooh, la. How much ammo does this bastard have, anyways? 16? Apparently he can't see me anymore. There we go. <laughs> he's doing morale damage to his own troops because he's shooting over the top of them. <laughs> he's overshooting her, I should say. I probably could just stand still here, actually. He's really, really overshooting. Nope, maybe not. Never mind, my bad. Serpentine! 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 At right, work all day today, long stringing and coming. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, you can't see me. Ow! Okay, he's out of ammo. Alright, back here we go. Let's bring up the rest of the troops. And let this guy take a breather. Pretty much, pretty much not concerned about anything other than the hell cannon, so I think we'll be alright. I mean, the Chaos Knights are a little bit dangerous, but we got pretty decent spears and lots of crossbows to shoot them in the face with, so. What's his leader? That's another question. Oh, okay, he's uh, just a wizard with enfeebling foe. Oh, boy. Dread spears. By your command. Oh, dear. Pretty sure that's against TOS. You have to get a private room. Painting the Warhammers. Dread spears. As you say. Cruel and deadly. Going. Moving out. Moving out. Him and his pointy shoes. Ready. Orders understood. Dread Lord. <laughs> the Warhammer painting that is the Remington can stay. <laughs> Yikes. Alright. Couple more inches. We gotta move Without up here. Question. We so badly need that plus 15% crossbow range. Like, holy bananas. 125 is so terrible. Of course, crossbows are like overpowered in every other way besides range, but you know. Dread Lord. Understood. Words I never thought I'd say, even jokingly. With good reason. Yeah, 
Aim, aim, there we go. <laughs> aim, aim. Spends a lot of time aiming. Oh geez, the cap. Taruki. Taruki, forward. Forward. Nagarothi. Murder awaits. Glorious carnage. Yeah, let's shoot the guy in the face. Nagarothi, onwards to murder. Blood will flow. We are ready. The merciless. Oh, we managed to get the spears in the way in time, so that's good. Why are we having to move closer for this? Please explain your craziness. Dark elves. Spells incoming. Dreadlord. No mercy. Explain your insanity, please. Bleak swords. Carnage Bleak awaits. swords. End them. Terror and death. Onwards to murder. Advancing. Some of the Dark Elf music sounds very close to, like, uh, Star Wars music, honestly. Like, this particular track goes Duels of Fates a little bit. Then it kind of steers away, back away from it again, but it's got, like, some of the same kind of, like, crescendos. Tie up the Dark Shark Cruise. Yeah, right. At once. Druki. At once. Dealers in death. We understand. Can we kill these trolls, maybe? Just so they're not here anymore, because there's like a million of them. Oh. I was hoping maybe we could kill at least one of the six, considering they are a whole bunch of trolls with no hit points, but you know, whatever. Whatever. I love how they nailed the Dark Elves being edgelords. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good, honestly. <laughs> wow, that Hell Cannon crew still killed seven people <laughs> in melee. Freaking Chaos Dwarves, yo. Did I see the stream last night? I did. I did indeed. I didn't actually watch any of it because I was trying to sleep, but... Um, I saw that he did go live. My glorious victory! It's because of one more argue, that's true, yeah. Bye. Ooh, I got an item. I clicked past too fast before I saw what it was, but hey, we got an item. Crown of Black Iron. Five percent ward save, I'll take it. The other stuff is okay too, I Lord guess, considering I'm fighting with low-tier troops. Oh my god, what does Sadistic do again? Black-hearted dreadlord. Oh, yeah, that's pretty that's pretty nice. Noble Alright, let's finish this guy off. Slaughter calls us! Aha! I waited long enough. Dreadlord of Nagaroth. Destructive, this one. Useful. <laughs> Destructive, this one. Useful. Lord of the Black Court. I shall check that stream in uh, Carefree's 2, but I it's the bots where I'm not falling asleep standing. Escape and Dan also did something. So much community, so little time. Yeah. Yeah, Escape and Dan also is releasing uh, some uh, Skaven Tag stuff, I believe it was. 2% chance I would myself. Impossible. Pretty solid die roll there, bud. I'll take it. Cool, he's got freaking Swordmasters of Hoeth. 
Bleak Swords versus Swordmasters. Who wins? I mean, the weapon strength actually isn't that far off. It's just that the armor piercing is much higher, and they have a bonus versus infantry, which makes them a lot better. And 90 armor as opposed to 30. To arms, yeah, there's that. True key. I watched for like five minutes because I need to sleep myself, right? Yeah, I saw him streaming, so I was like, oh, he's playing Overwatch. I might as well just keep sleeping then. And then he was, and then he like later messaged me if I wanted to get some Dota practice in today as well. But for some reason, my phone didn't like tell me that he messaged me. So I just assumed that he was streaming and then I wouldn't bother him. Choose the Swordmasters of Haze with a Thousand Arrows. That's the plan. Bleak sword. Nagel Ruffy. Battle ready. Red spears. Red spears. <laughs> oh, what? Nagel Ruffy. Merciless warriors. Merciless warriors. Dark shards, eager for battle. Okay. Try to split the enemy up here a little Rookie. bit so we get angles and stuff. Okay. Don't want you Dark guys. Shards. There we go. Not many. High elves tend to perform a lot, a lot worse once they have freaking bolts stuck in their face. Going, indeed. Cold-blooded killers. Drukey. Following orders. Kill them, Druki, at once. By your command. Marathi. All right, you Dark guys will shoot at you. Mother of vengeance. Red spears, without question. Just need to keep pushing our infantry up. We are ready. Anytime you want to stop casting random ass crap at me, I'd appreciate that, friend. What a guy. Dark shards. Marathi. Marathi. No, don't do it. Ow. Come with me. Feel my fury. The merciless host. At once. Dark elves. Battle call. We understand. By your command, the merciless host. It is dark. How are we doing over here? Dark shards. My blade hungers. The merciless host advancing. Just keeps blasting me in the face with shit. Dread spears. Merciless warriors. Dread spears. Oh, here we go. Dark elves. Oh, would you just so shoot these silver helms also? She gets up middle. Mother of the Druki. Blast that on those guys. Bring these swords around the center too. Run you guys in behind. Put you guys up mid. Spearmen. Fuck was that noise? Dark shards. By your command. As you say. To destruction! Alright. Dread Great swords are pretty much Glorious done, so that's good. Dark shards! Cold blooded killers! So these white lions. Blood for you guys in. Bleak swords! Battle ready! Understood! Onwards to murder! No mercy! Shoot those guys on the backside. My revenge comes! So there's a murderous prowess. Okay, shoot those dudes. Slaughter shoot those dudes. Destroy. Battle ready. Let's bring you guys in. Carnage awaits. Dark deed. I suppose I just go freaking hit her in the face a few times. Probably would be a good call on my part. Dark shots. Forward. Some of you dark. Some of you guys back here. Red spears. To destruction. Get a little bit scuffed. Dark elves. Push some more guys in. Marathi. Onward. 
Turn you guys around. Dread spears. Push you guys in there. Bleak swords. Blood for Cain. Attack. Carnage. You guys back in. With pleasure. Bloody murder. Finish cutting him up. Wrathy back here again. You guys go mid. Forward. Going. Cool. This was another police chase go down your street. Well then. Time to knock it off. Good old Marathi just face tanking shots. <laughs> Mid or feed. Mid and feed. That's so how you know you're overachiever, when you can do both. Yeah, she actually did pretty well against that Lord, to be honest. She kicked the crap out of uh, Fern Harvest over here. I am victorious. It is right. ours now. Well, it's ours again, more like, but you know, I... Whatever. Okay. Um... Could just leave the barracks here and destroy the barracks in Quintex. I think we'll do that, actually. Or play me and feed all the lanes. Could do that too. It's an option. Tyrant of Nagarok. Okay. Uh, let's see. I mean, this gives me public order and corruption, so I guess that's probably a good thing to keep here right now. Alright. But potentially, we can go get Sealed Tor back. Be one step closer to actually, like, doing something with our lives. Oh my gosh. At least we're making progress. At least we're making progress. Which is more than I can say for probably the last 20 turns. 20, 25 turns, something like that. So you can free up billing slots and invest in harpies? Yeah! <laughs> Great plan! I mean, harpies would be good against the Hell Cannon Rebellions, but otherwise... <laughs> not... not so great. My Marathi start was ten times easier in this. So... My start was great. It was probably the best start you could possibly get. Because I took all my opening territory in the... Or the fastest it, possibly could take. I'm... Oh, sure. Uh, the fastest you could possibly take these four territories. I grabbed them. Or three territories, I guess. I grabbed them. But then a series of uh, comedic-style blunders occurred. And put me back about fucking 30 turns. I got my harpies all resolved against a garrison and lost them on the next turn. <laughs> then turn 10 hit, essentially, yeah. Pre-turn 10, we were freaking like, cruising. Like, this this Marathi campaign ain't shit. Like, we're gonna be in Uthwan by freaking turn 30. Like, taking over half of it. Like, that was, that was what I was looking at, honestly. Like, that's not even like a joke. <laughs> nope. Mother of the Jeez Louise, I have to fight this. Marathi okay. commands you. Fight. I chuckled at the thought. I knew the pain that awaited. 
I mean, Mazda has not actually been that big of an issue. He has been a little bit of an issue, just kind of an annoyance, really, honestly, by comparison to the other crap that's been going on. But, uh, yeah. It is. It goes on the list of, oh, Bleak my goodness gracious, it's one more thing that's happening to me. Dark elves. He did want to sue for peace earlier, ready. but I need to take this territory Dark back, so I didn't take warriors. it. Cold-blooded killers. Masterless warriors. Druki. Everybody screamed Druki. Dark shot. Dark Marathi, come with me. Get those boys up. Feel my vengeance. This is why it took me multiple attempts to get legendary uh, more Lumpires Marathi off the ground, and I did it by counter invading Uthwan. Expense of my outlying miners. And like, I got your town, and I was like, I got your home. Yeah, that's one way to deal with a computer. For sure. I've done that on multiple campaigns. Where it's like, fine, you want to take my stuff? I'll just take your more important stuff then. We'll just trade spaces until eventually I win this exchange. That was too bad when you kill lizards. Lizard boys didn't do nothing. It's true. Yeah, the gold mine's pretty nice. To be sure. Bleak swords. Bleak swords. Just know that these skinks are ruling as hard as they can. Battle ready. Blood will flow. Blood will flow. Alright, just be enough for this point. This is literally just be chasing people around until they die. <laughs> He's still getting. He's still getting shots off on me. He's retreating far enough that he's able to turn around and actually chuck spears. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of awkward ang uh, naval angles around Marathi's coastline, which is a problem. Oh, and he's run a he has run out of running room. Officially. There we go. Yeah, the auto calculate would have screwed me a lot harder. What? Sakura or Sakuru? Turns out people take super kindly to being enslaved. Who knew? That's yeah, weird. Sorceress and it's weird, man. It's weird. I will not. Hag Sorceress of Brawl. All right, so I think we get. I haven't pulled a Doom and Darkness yet so far. <laughs> so I think reducing the cooldown and the Winds of Magic costs is not going to be all that useful for me overall. Wait, why does it cost Winds of Magic? Winds of Magic costs negative one for Power of Darkness. Pretty sure Power of Darkness doesn't cost any Winds of Magic. Or does it? Oh, it costs four. Never mind. I'm looking in the wrong place. Yeah, four. That's a little bit bizarre as well. Four winds over Casted Golden Hounds and like a 10 second cooldown. Power always takes winds. 
right? Give you a shit ton of magic back. I use that on my hider since it just heals anyways. I suppose. Yeah, screw it. Situationally good. Cease your provocation. Oh, Jeebus, this place has a barracks too? Well, I guess I'm getting money out of it. I watch from the shadows. What is this, a hall of muttering? The droopy are restless. Den of indulgence, house of pleasure. Halls of Hedonism, Court of the Dark Prince. Okay. Gout has a has the power of faith, steel gun part, a huge ego, and necromancy. We are displeased. Okay. Um So the best quest speeches. Second to uh, Sigvald, obviously. What's going on over here? The people are displeased. Well, tell the people to just calm their tits, okay? Welcome to Astalia, gentlemen. I will not lie, your chances of survival are small. Some may even turn, ag turn against you as living corpses. <laughs> Good old Gelt. Yes, the Wild Beastman army appeared, but they are on my side currently. And they're spreading corruption, which is also good. As long as they don't raid me, I don't care, really. The quest speech I like more is from, uh, is from Thorgrim. <laughs> Scion of Slanesh. Who are these grotesqueries? I think that's one of my, like, favorite lines to, like, click on somebody and have the response. <laughs> Who are these grotesqueries? Such, like, the voice actor does such a good job. 